How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Farming Simulator 19 Survival Series. So today we are back with a bit of a more normal episode compared to the previous one. So again, if you didn't like uh, the previous episode, I do apologize, but it's just something that um, I kind of had to explain. And yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Today we're back to normal and we are just taking care of the animals real quick. So the sheep did make a bit of a mess. The chickens made a huge mess. And food-wise, they aren't doing great. But that's kind of the point. So they've got 10,500 liters of food. The chickens, that is. And the sheep has 3,800. So it's not that I am purposefully neglecting them. Well, I kind of am, but for a good reason. Um, I want them to empty off the troughs because I think we are going to be doing some work around this area very soon and that means we're going to move our sheep and we're going to move our chickens and I don't want to waste all of that food because the moment I get rid of these um, enclosures we're going to lose all of it so that's why I'm not giving them more food so they can work through what they've got. Okay so in today's episode we are harvesting. Um, all of the crops have germ well not germinated uh, they germinated a long time ago um, they have gone into the final growth stage or past the final growth stage so they are all ready to harvest and there we go ready to harvest and you can see all of the, the tram lines um, I do know that most of you weren't huge fans of the tram lines and that is fine um, I do understand that. I'm not 100% sure how big a fan I am of it either. But um, I enjoyed doing it though. It was something new. It was something different. It's something that I haven't tried yet. And um, I'm glad we did. I don't think we'll probably do it again on, on this series at least. Uh, we'll just do the row crop wheels and that sort of thing. And um, not have all of the tram lines. But it was fun. And today we are sort of going to get rid of them anyway. So if you didn't like them, well, today's your lucky day. We're getting rid of them because we're harvesting. Okay, so I do want to use... Oh, I do want to use the auger wagon uh, for this harvest. Because... Well, because it'll actually be quite handy pulling this around rather than the three trailers. And I think we can empty this straight into our silos. So if we can do that, that'll be extremely handy. If we can't, I'll just um, throw it into the trailers and then dump it into there. But I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Okay. Um, I want to check if we've got any sort of PTO shafts or anything like that. That we need to connect on that header. I think we might do some hydraulic hoses, maybe. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, beautiful. So, I'm going to have to set up a GPS for this. But we're not going to need GPS on this first field. So, I'm not going to worry about it now. Uh, we'll do it a little bit later on. So, we are going to start out with the sunflowers. Just because we've already got the cutting head on it. So, for the sunflowers and the corn. So we'll do sunflowers and then we'll head over and do corn harvesting. And then we'll change headers and then we'll jump into the other fields. And um, yeah, get harvesting done. So I think basically everything that we planted this uh, season, if you would. I call it a season because it just makes more sense. Um, everything that we planted is going to be sold. I don't think, because we've got no potatoes, so we don't have to do any work there in terms of washing or sorting. The sunflowers are going to be sold. The oat is going to be sold. The soybeans are going to be sold. The, oh, the canola we're going to make petrol from. Oh, and the corn we're going to make CCM from. Okay, so we don't have just selling um, crops. For a moment there, I thought we were going to basically just sell everything, but no. And that's a good thing, though. I don't want to just sell everything because that's a little bit boring. Uh, we are definitely going to be making some CCM. So I think it's a 
corn cob mix or something like that ccm and yeah i think we just throw corn into the mill and it should do its thing at least i think i hope i hope that's how it works i've never used it um if it doesn't work well then we'll just sell the corn but um hopefully it works hopefully we can do something interesting there we're definitely going to be making more diesel with the canola now we've got a pretty decent sized canola field uh, where that we're going to harvest very very soon and um yeah the diesel was quite profitable and it's quite a fun process to make it it's just interesting it's different rather than just harvesting and selling the sunflowers i don't think we're going to get that much for them but that's fine again it's just something different and to be honest i think even if we don't get much for it i'm going to plant it again because it looks beautiful when it's when it's growing it looks absolutely amazing it's gorgeous and next time around having no tram lines it'll look even better so yeah i'll plant it literally just for the aesthetics so we we make enough money on other areas of the farm that we don't have to always plant the absolute most productive or the highest value crops we can plant what we want to and i like to keep things sort of interesting and change it up and do different things and not just chase money all the time uh, because that does get a little bit boring after a while but um yeah so i think what we are gonna do is we we are gonna jump into a quick time lapse and we're gonna get this field finished off then i'll get the gps set up and we'll get the corn field finished off and looking at this the the yield is quite low um, on sunflowers i thought it would be higher and we might actually be able to harvest this entire field in one tank but um yeah so we'll get this knocked out we will head over we'll get the corn knocked out and then i'll probably jump in and um yeah we'll just have a bit of a a chat before we go into another time lapse for the rest of the crops i don't want it to just be one massive time lapse um, so i'll intervene somewhere in the middle and yeah we can just have a bit of a chat as usual and um before we jump into the second time lapse and get the rest of the fields finished off but for now let's jump into that first time lapse and um, i'll see you guys in a little bit
All right, that is the corn almost done, but not quite yet. Uh, we've had a little bit of a change of plans because I ran out of diesel. Uh, I, I didn't check the combine. I did actually check it when I initially got it for the sunflowers and I thought, ooh, that's pretty low, I should probably fill it. And then I didn't. And I thought it'll be fine until we're done with the corn and I ra ran out of diesel. So, um, yeah, obviously not fine. So I had to buy a trailer, which cost us about $9,000 because there's no way of getting the combine back to the farm now. Uh, but this trailer apparently also takes death. So I want to see if I can empty that into there. Because I don't have the death pallets. But... I do have the death tanks, but it doesn't seem to... No. Alright, that's fine. So, we might have to get the death pallet mod. I used to have it, but I took it out because I think it had some sort of a... Um, why is belts not working? Oh, it is. It's just not showing. Um, right. Will that remain there? I don't know. So that is a 50 liter tank of death. I don't know how much we need. Uh, we don't actually need death right now, but we might as well throw some in there while we're filling up with diesel. But um, yeah, the, the death pallet thing had some sort of a error log or something, if I remember correctly. So I removed it. But um, yeah, so far harvesting is going pretty freaking well. I'm enjoying it. Going relatively quickly the corn is pretty slow the sunflowers that was fun i enjoyed that one and um yeah i mean i'm enjoying the corn as well it's just a much slower process because you have to empty about every two or three lines but that's a good thing though it means we're gonna have a lot of corn to to sell well to make into a byproduct basically or a secondary product i don't know what you call it make it into CCM. I hope we can do that. I'm not actually sure. But we shall see. But now we need to get diesel first. Let's do that. Uh, can we get death from here? No. I know you can get some death tanks, but oh my goodness, that is slow. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. You should be able to see it now. That is very, very, very slow. Um, with filling, that is ridiculously slow. Um, right. That's going to take a while. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to jump cut. Uh, so I'll sit and wait for this to fill up. And I'll catch up with you guys when we are back at the combine. Alright, so that took quite some time. And um, it cost about $3,300. Somewhere around there. So... Maybe it's not really that slow, it's just a huge tank. Because it is 793 gallons. So, yeah. Right. Now I need to figure out how we do the whole death thing. Maybe I should move that tractor first. And let's do that. This is almost full as well. I think we can take one more load. And we've had to empty this twice. So, yeah, decent amount of corn. But the combine is dead. Like, completely dead. Not starting, nothing at all. So, it is literally on zero um, percent on diesel. And I think that's the first time I've ever ran out of diesel in any farming simulator game. I usually just keep them kind of full. But, um, yeah, not this time. Okay. Okay. So that is filling up the diesel just fine. And death is on 61%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this away. And we can actually turn that off. Probably leave it there for a while. We'll grab that tank. And um, no, not the pickup truck. I think that's somehow attached. 
Here we go. Okay. Beautiful. Put that there. And... Oh, there we go. That is full. Huh. Right, okay. It only took, like, 20 liters. All right. We are back in business. Nice. Okay. So, um, what I want to do is I want to get this, uh, well, it's basically two and a little bit, or one and a little bit rows left after this one. Uh, so, we'll get this knocked out real quick. And then I want to see if we can throw corn into the CCM mill thing. So that that can sort of do its thing while we harvest the next, um, or the, the rest of the fields. But we are not going to be doing the rest of the fields, the harvesting today. I thought we might do, but the corn took quite a bit longer than expected. So that's fine. We'll do the uh, harvesting of those fields in the next episode. In fact, there's very few things that we can get done if we're working on all fields. Uh, that we can get done in one episode lately as everything's just big and there's just a lot of everything so it's quite difficult to do a harvest in a full harvest of all of the fields in one episode or um, even plowing and things like that but um that's fine that means the the farm is growing which is good and i want to try and expand it even more but i want to expand in livestock i think we're sort of at a comfortable spot when it comes to crops if we do any more fields and things like that it'll just become a hassle and it'll become boring and it'll just become tedious and i don't want that i want it to remain fun and um yeah enough to get some good time lapses and things out of it and you know make some good money out of it but i don't want it to get to a point where it's just yeah tedious i think is the perfect word for that but um yeah so we're on the last little strip and i'll have to drive the combine home because we need to change headers but i think for now i'll just get the pipe out here and we'll just leave the combine in the field until tomorrow uh, in game tomorrow or next episode if you like but um yeah i want to grab the last corn out of here or yeah the last uh, of the corn uh, put it in the auger and take that back to the farm and see if we can put it into the mill so we'll put our little marston trailer under the pipe at the ccm i've never ever used the ccm so i have no idea how it works I am not even sure what CCM is. I know it's some sort of a, a corn cob mix or something like that. But I don't really know what that is. So, um, yeah. We'll find out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And um, they do seem to pay pretty well for it. And I hope that... Yeah, I hope this is going to work. I hope you just put corn into it and, and it works. Because... I don't know, CCM corn cob mix tells me that you need some corn cobs in there as well. We don't have those. So, I'm not sure. Are you supposed to put whole corn in there? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We shall see. Right, yeah, so the combine is just going to sleep over there. And we need to jump in the combine to empty it out. I don't know why. And... Yeah, we'll see how this whole thing works, but we'll... I'll go back off screen and get the pickup truck, take that back to the farm, and put everything away. I don't think I'm going to bother with the def um, pallets, the big def pallets, because I think we've only got two pieces of equipment that actually takes def, and there's the two that's standing over here, the Combine and the Veltra. So... And it takes such a small amount that I don't think it's really worth... I don't know, going through all of the effort to get pallets and offloading and putting it into trailers and all of that thing. Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe we shall see. In fact, if I knew that we weren't going to use DEF in a tank, I probably would have bought a different fuel tanker. But it's fine. We probably won't ever use that fuel tanker again anyways. 
I'll put it somewhere on the farm. Probably, I don't know, somewhere behind a tree or something. Because we most likely won't use it again. And um, it's just because we ran out of diesel. We needed it. So it's going to be a bit of an emergency situation thing. It does have a huge amount of diesel in it. So I'll probably put it somewhere where it's kind of accessible. And we can just fill our equipment out of that. So the fuel is sort of prepaid for. Alright, so I'm going to fill this up a little bit more. Well, to the top really. Here we go, 1,200 bushels. Beautiful. And... Let's see if we can dump straight out of this thing into this mill and how this thing actually operates. I don't know. I hope this works. I really hope this works. Well, there we go. We are throwing corn into that. And we can put that out, so... There we go. Okay, so... Maize is going in there. So that's 30,000 liters of maize. And I think we are going to need the... Marston trailer. Underneath the... Auger. And... We'll see. I mean, this thing only takes like 14,000 liters. So, maybe we should get a bigger trailer. But it's fine. It only needs to go into here. And I'll probably put the Ford on this. And, oh, we've got some pig food in here that we still need to sell. Hmm. Okay. So, the corn I want to have in that bay, that is silage. Uh, where the conveyor belts are at the moment, there's nothing. And the first one is potatoes. I don't really want to put pig food in there, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump a pile of pig food over here and we'll get it sold at a later stage. I would like if there was an option to bag that again, but yeah. Right, we'll just put it there, we'll sell that at a later stage. No problem. Beautiful. Let's see if this works. So we'll put that there. And... I don't know if there's much else that we can do. Bolt pipe. Mm, yeah, that's about it. Okay, it does say that there is some um, CCM in there. Oh, do I need to hit start filling? There we go. Okay. Beautiful. So I'm guessing this is just some sort of a crushed corn type thing. CCM raw. Right, so... There was a price difference. CCM raw and CCM. So how do we get that? Because CCM raw is worth quite a lot less than CCM. So if you guys know how to get that then um please let me know because i would love to know because i want to get a higher price for now it doesn't really matter because we're just going to put it in into here but i'm guessing it has to go through something else it has to go through another stage of of something i don't know what but yeah don't know right we're gonna dump that in there we're gonna leave the tract over there we'll move it a little bit later on that'll continue on milling and everything we'll have to connect a tractor to this so we'll put the veltra back onto this and we'll put the ford onto uh the marston trailer and we'll maybe take the john deere with the triple trailers and we'll take them into the fields for harvest so then we've got tractors on a bunch of different jobs which is good but and um, there's not much to look at over here at the moment so um yeah a bit sad to see that um uh, just because it looks so empty but it does mean that there's money coming into the bank very very soon but that is gonna be it for today guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time